wake up that like fuck sick Man just wants to wake and bake Get the munchies, make a cake And uh, everyone make sure you join the seats here Like I said before uh, it is open to everyone, there's no foreign bullshit, so you can just join it from in game, which is good. Uh, it's got no, a good few members, these are the ones just on right now, so yeah, make sure you join. Uh, I realise some of my chaotics are running low, so I'm just going to buy more kits. Uh, they don't cost too much, it cost me like 1000 more. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping I get um, an AGF drop from crew. Uh, this is the best way to um, charge your chaotic by the way. See, I've had two free charges so far. Now it's like 50 50. Yeah. Mm, I might as well just charge everything now. And I do have two CCBs because I got one from um, completing the Calfire Queen. And, um, I think it was, was it the Calfire Queen? No, I think it was the Armadale one actually. It was one of the events I made. I really can't remember what one to do. Uh, two free ones in a row. So, I've had like four free ones in a row before, which is pretty nice. Uh, might as well just charge them as much as you can. Come on, give me one. Uh, uh, it's all good. Now. It's quite a lot of uh, charges. Full charge. If you don't know how to say spot the kill count, you literally just use a couple of them to trap one, so you'll just kill like ones further down there, and they'll just get automatically trapped, so you don't have to worry about like pots or anything while you're killing the kill count. Really, really simple. You just want to go for like the level 80 ones, because the other level, like the level 70s, they don't count. You've got to love it when the crews line up perfectly so they don't even hit you. I haven't even had a sip of bruise going on with dead. Not a sip of bruise this kill. <laughs> Pretty easy. CC's so so lit right now. Keep on joining, guys. Alright, so I almost fucking almost done it. The the second one had like the tiniest bit of health left and almost died, so I had to turn me out. Everything was on me, so. Pretty fucking annoying. So now I've got to get a kill count all over again for two fucking kills. I'll probably just do the trick now. You gotta love it when you start to fuck up completely. Like I'm so glad I don't need more than two kills. This is the last one I need. Fucking die. Alright, uh, time to get another Slayer task. Hopefully I get something good. That's the first time getting a, a Chad task, and give me one sec, I'll show you. Okay, so this is what I need for completionist. Um, it does say, only say two, but, you know, I'm gonna have more. I've got these done at the moment, but I could literally get four right now, and then I've got one bill HP up there, and this is 1.6, um, 1.2 bill fishing, then everything else is like, her bill is like 600 mil, everything's like 200 mil pretty much, range 404, magic 300, so like I can get the two bills, no problem really, the 20 worldy ones won't be too bad, uh, the jets I'll do now, I don't really want to do that yet. 500 kills. Nomad. And I've got, well, the coins I don't have, but by the time I do the worldy ones, I'll have the pest control points, I'll have, I've got the slayer points, and I've got the PK points, and I'll have the fire gate. 
but uh, the, the cape price would be no problem. It's just this is all I have to do left, none the rest. Alright, what's up guys? I am on wait 42. This is actually pretty fucking easy so far, like I'm having no problem. I've never even done one, so it's just common sense. Just gotta know what prayers to use and where to stand when they come. Like I stand in the middle until I see what spawns and then I just run in the corner. So then they stack around. See look, this one spawned first and that one spawned, so you just run into the corner. And um, wait a little bit so he drags the fire so they don't run it back out. And yeah, like I'm not even overloaded at the moment because I don't want to run out of bruise. I'm trying to save as many as I can. So what I'm doing, when I need, um, but when like my health's are halfway down, then I overload and eat up my bruise. Because that way you're not just wasting a bruise overloading when you don't need to. See right there, he clipped me in the corner. So I just run past here. And, um, pretty easy. Man. I really don't know how people struggle with See, like wave 51 still feels easy, but alright, we're doing good. I just overloaded last round because, um, just in case, like I say, getting smacked or something. But, uh, eight more, I think I got this. I think I got this. I just hope I don't run out of bruises, I shouldn't. As long as I don't get fucking comboed or like, fuck up something, I think I'll be good. Yeah, this is still simple though, like. I'm just staying in the middle until I have them all wrecked up and then I kill with the rain and then I get them in the, mid in the corner like this kill this, this one and that one and just like this, kill that one kill this one kill this one sorry I'm not gonna lie, this wave was a little bit harder but I still took like no damage like so much shit spawned and I still managed to get them all uh, in line <laughs> As you can see, I'm at the, like, the other corner, so I had to run and about a bit. Alright, I think this is the last kill of the wave. Um, on wave, it will be like 61, and then the one after that is the two the two Jads, right? Not not the two Jads, the two ones of these ones, the two Zets. And then after that, it's Jad, so... Like, I'm trying to save these until I, like, until the wave before Jad. So next wave, two of these should spawn, and that should be it. So I highly doubt I'm going to fail this because I can do Jad pretty easily. I was rolling out to kill another major, not major, melee, and that almost got me. Fucking hell, that shit caught me off guard. Right, I need to I need to get this right. So I don't die. Alright, I've got them both trapped. That was too close to comfort, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, here it is. These are the two, uh, two magic ones that I got killed, then it's Jed. Simple as. Next time I know I need to bring less prayers. I did look at a guide, and it told me to bring this amount. I even brought two more brews just in case. And thank the fuck I did, because I wouldn't have done it otherwise. That would be bullshit. I'm going to record the rest of this, just in case I die to Jed or some funny shit happens. Some of them might be, it'll be pretty funny if I die to Jed. <laughs> I'd be a little bit annoyed, but <laughs> it would be funny. 
But they can't make a tune without no violence in their music I do this But let me tell you about some shit I'm coping with My father's fighting cancer, he don't even know I know the shit Every time I phone his crib he's acting like he's normal But I notice this ain't normal and I'm feeling this shit for you And when you hear me just tell me it's what you're used to I'll continue to make bars that are hard to come and do so The truth is if you show me love I'm sure to show it back But I don't feel most of these rappers but it's fiction when they chat Feel the need to sell a story for acceptance how do you think my mumsy felt in court when she see me getting sentenced? 17 in court but still got sentenced to a 7 See her face on prison visits, man I swear the shit's depressing, check it I got major stresses, I ain't told you about, do you get it? But as the beat proceeds to kick, I feel to let you check it I really feel to let you understand this life I'm living The way my oldest brother had a crack and smack addiction We tried to help him, man I swear we tried to help him But he weren't trying to help himself, so who were we to help him? Tried to make him go to rehab like Amy Winehouse But he weren't trying to go, but fuck it man, I heard he's fine now I've got a girl that really loves me well she say she does but i ain't sure about that bitch she probably made it up see every time i'm waking up i'm having second thoughts but the several thoughts i've had would probably stress me even more and now i'm feeling even worse than i felt before it's been a long three years that i was locked behind this door my friends will turn to dust it's the only family that support real talk when your back's against the wall these people walk a little pain you get me something i ripped down on the wing <coughs> Yo, we inhale, cut the stress is deep, it's out of our control, so we be stressing about the street. Major stresses, I could tell you that for free, I feel it more. Oh, and I done it. First attempt. I'm sick of VOs First attempt ever doing dread, and I done it. Fucking hell, that was close, though, was it not? <laughs> that is stay close for comfort, I cannot even speak during that. Fucking hell. Um, I kind of just noticed it done this. I did not know this. <laughs> it tells you what the day it's gonna use. <laughs> I was just looking to see what it was gonna do. I'm not. It's weird that it doesn't do it with melee though. Only do, does it with magic and range because it meleeed me a few times. It's really weird. But uh, yeah, at least I know that for next kill. All right, time for the next jad. This is a uh, first wave. As you can see. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like know what to do now, so it should be easier, and I know how many resources to bring. Because last time, like, I definitely did not have enough proof. I watched a guy and they told me to bring, like, it was actually Pooh's guide. He told me to bring, like, a certain amount, and it did not work out. Like, that was too close for comfort. So I've got like way more bruise now and a, and a lot less um, super bruise because you don't really need the boost when it comes to this. Like once you get them trapped, you don't need speed. You just need to like get them trapped. That's all you need to do. So you don't even need. You shouldn't even use Rigor to be honest. You should just use the protect from bruise and then um, make sure you've got enough food and then you you should be good. Welcome to all the new CC members as well. Thanks for joining, guys. Much appreciated. If you want to join as well, and you're up, it's mostly Iron Men, but regular players are welcome as well. So if you want to join, just um, head over to Self Gain CC. Well, 28, and I've barely used anything. I just used um, one of these super pro pots. All right. So if you want to know when the first um, magic one spawns, it's uh, way 31. Because I didn't know that before. So from 31 and on, you always want to uh, play from magic, because that hits like 30 some shit, nothing else even like comes close to that. The range hits like fucking 16 at best, I think. And most of the time they hit zeros anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Already, um, back on wave 44. It really isn't bad. Okay, on wave 46, the melee and the mage both spawn. It's the first time they both spawn together. And as you can see, the CC is still going strong. Keep on joining, guys. If you're having trouble um, getting them all together, I'll show you how to do it. So you just run about until the mage is to the side, like closest to you, basically. And you can just run pretty much anywhere, and then um, it will trap the melee. And then the rest of them are just simple to kill and nothing can really hit you. So, it's really, really easy to do the waves. Just once you get it down, simple as. 
Like, it works every time as well, like, it will always work. Like, even here it can't hit you, look how close it is. It's actually ridiculous. You and I are um, way for more than one hit. Oh shit, I'm already on 51. This is so fucking easy now. So easy. Because once you, once you do it once, you just know what to do, to be honest. This is a pretty sweet stack spot right here, look at this shit. And they all just stack. And the range one can't even hit you here. It's too far away. So maybe you guys could try doing this if you're having trouble. Yeah, literally nothing hit me at all that wave. And I was just running them around in the middle and I ended up running down here to try and trap it. But I did not expect them to stack like that. See, but last time when I killed Jad, I was on my 55 with two brews left. See, like, it's so comfortable now. Because it was very, it was a bit tricky to do it last time because I did not bring the correct resources. Not gonna lie, guys, this spot's actually really good. I just ran them here again. I usually um, I, I usually run about with them all, and then so the melee can't hit you, and then you're protected from the magic, and then I just kill the range one while I'm running about, and then I burst this one as well while I was running about. It's really really easy, guys. If you're having trouble, just try it. Just watch this video. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard, because I went in here not really knowing what to do at all. I didn't even bring the correct fucking supplies for a start. And whatever you do, do not use uh, this prayer, because all it does really is waste resources. Like, just use pro a protect prayer and you'll be good, because it's not going to help you out that much. You're just going to speed it up a bit, but drain your resources faster. And another good thing you learn is um, when you need to brew or not, because like, I'm I'm only using like half a day, so I'm using my overload now, because it's not really needed. Because when your overload runs out, it restores your health anyway, so you just stay on like 50 health. You're not going to get hit at 50 by anything, except from this maybe, but I don't even know if that can hit 50 to be honest. And as you can see, this is going to be one of the hardest waves, and I'm just in the middle doing it. Really not hard. I'm 58. Hey, look at this. Well, it's so easy. All you have to do is just run in the corner and be good. I'm just going to pick these off and kill that. And it's uh, wave 61. <laughs> All I've got now is the, the double Jads and um, and Jad. Not not double. I, why do I keep calling them double Jad? It's because it looks a bit like Jad, I think. I think they're like meant to be like mini Jads. It probably, like, yeah, it's like a baby dread that can't use range or melee. Yeah, and here they are. After this, it's gonna be dread, so, um, probably need to kill one and find a, a spot to try and trap it. Because, um, the last time it didn't trap and it almost killed me. That was really, really bad. So I don't want that to happen again. I need to figure out a way for it to, like, instantly trap. Okay, I think this is a good spot right here. I could always use the other one because I know that traps for fast. But this one should trap, like, just look at it. So, yeah, I'm really hoping Jed does a crap match here. And I'm overloaded. Everything. Everything. 130. And hopefully he doesn't like spawn to provide him some bullshit. And it should tell me what it's going to do. Okay, let's see that. I don't really need it to tell me anything. I know, just... I've done Jad to throw him again. Yeah, alright, this spot right here is where it traps. You know what, I'm, I'm going to show you, like, you don't even need... You don't even need those things. Whenever it stomps, it's range, and whenever it flicks his head like that, it's magic. Like right there, so it's magic. You can tell because he like lowers his body down as well. Stomp range. Simple as that. You don't need to fix it. I won't even get hit this time. 
and Judd's dead, and those things didn't even affect me this time. So I might, I might do some more. Because I really want the Judd back. Like, it's so easy.